or on my computer. And then there, and then, okay, we are recording. So uh, good afternoon, Ingrid. Uh, my name is Claudio. Uh, let's make a formal introduction for our listeners uh, from the studios in Fairfax City. We're very humble and grateful that Ingrid Havik uh, accepted our invitation to our show. Uh, Kaik Asahai is an indie pop and rock band originated from Norway. Uh, the band formed when vocalist and songwriter Ingrid uh, met drummer Tron Bersu while studying jazz at the Jazz Conservatory. In uh, 2010, after just six months, the duo started working on their debut album. The album is called uh, All the Flood Will Rain. Uh, was released in 2012, and the rest is history. Uh, Ingrid, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. It's nice to um, be here. And so, with with all that, you know, we are year that for everybody that we live with the pandemic and, and so so forth. How how is this affecting your creativity now that you can, you know, there you can know with the new album you cannot do that many shows and you need to stay at home and it have changed life for everybody how how you deal with this kind of stuff at first when it started the whole country locked down and so yeah. uh, i couldn't send my son to kindergarten yeah. uh, so uh, me and my uh, and his father that i live with is my yeah. I, I don't know what to call him uh, boyfriend or whatever boyfriend. Friend. <laughs> yes uh, we just uh, cut the day in half and then I could work for the first half of the day and then he could work for the second half of the day. And so I, I, I got to do some, uh, some, but at the same time it was difficult to work from home because there was a lot of sound yeah. uh, from a two-year-old and uh, the neighbors and it was just everyone um, was just at home. And I am normally at home by myself. Yeah. Now the kindergarten is open again, so he uh, he's back there, and and it's actually good for the creativity to to not have anything disturbing us. So we've uh, been recording an album, and I've written a lot of music, and it's been and yeah, it's been great for the creativity. Uh, but also I, I'm very nervous and sometimes it feels like we're working towards nothing because we don't know what's coming to the end of this uh, epidemic. When, when is it going to be over and just it's difficult to plan ahead and to yeah. also live off of this. Yeah. Mm. Because as a musician, right, you... You, you make money when you're touring, right? So putting a record out there is one thing, but once you release it, you need to go on tour. And right now you cannot. So you need to sort of live out of savings that you have have or finding other creative ways to make, make money, to pay for the bills like everybody else, right? So. Um, no, um, and we have a, a great system here in Norway. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to <laughs> rub no, it in. No, no. Yeah, yeah. But we do, but we do. So uh, we yeah. have a lot of help uh, from the government. Yeah. Uh, like now they're launching a new um, um, kind of solution where um, the artists play uh, shows uh, for, uh, I think it's 200 now that you can have in one room with one meter uh, apart. apart. And yep. then the gov government um, will supply the rest of the um, tickets, kind of like buy the rest of the tickets so that ah, I get you. Yeah. you don't, because it's difficult to have like a big production and just 200 people to play for. And then, um, and then just to pay all the whole crew and everything, it just, very it's not, yeah, it, it's expensive. So yep. they, want us to work and uh, and then find a way to pay pay us <laughs> the balance but it yeah. will be <clears throat> so you will go somewhere or you will do the recording for one studio and then broadcast broad, and do a broadcasting of that particular show uh, no we will uh, play it uh, play it live 
Ah, plain we were, but we didn't book anything yet because we were supposed to have a silent year this year anyway. But uh, we were supposed to play some shows and and it's been it's been scary, but I think we managed to pull it off because we we get played on the radio and and yeah, and I feel more bad for people that aren't established musicians yet that just yeah. released an album in February and then the corona came and just smothered their new kind of growing career right right yeah. that's exactly what happened with uh, with uh, with Steve Jacobson that I'm going to be talking on Sunday that she just released an album in August and she won't be able to tour until later on. Yeah. Where were you born in a musical family? I think I heard that your mom used to sing and uh, yes, a... my mom uh, my mom is a singing teacher like and a conductor for choirs. Wow. So uh, yeah, it was a lot of singing while growing up. So it was a natural choice for me. You you so but Right, that was when you were a baby, but later on, when you were the equivalent of middle school here or high school, you knew that you wanted to do that for the rest of your life? Or when, when, you, knew, when you knew that, like you were 14, 15, you say, before applying to the Jazz Conservatory, you said, I, I want to do the like, music thing? Or Yeah, well, I went to like a musical high school as well from when ah, I was 15. Uh, yeah. I think it's just because I was so bad at school I didn't have anything else that I was good at so I, I never <laughs> felt like I ever had a choice and luckily I, I like it as well so it turned out to be your career right? what it, it then it turned out to be your career after that right yeah and, and you met you met uh drawn um at the at the jazz conservatory correct yes yeah and then uh so you guys, when you were, when you joined the Jazz Conservatory, do you have any material? I mean, you began writing songs and stuff like that on your own or or was the first album after six months, you guys being in the same university decided to work together? How, how the first album, uh, All That Flows Will Rain came about? Um, I, um, I don't really know because <laughs> Um, we were living together because Trun and I used to be um, a couple. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and I had a difficult time just trying to start writing songs because um, um, it's a difficult thing to do when you haven't written anything before. <laughs> <laughs> and so I felt kind of uh, safe with him, just showing him my new sketches and, and yeah. trying things out with him uh and not with the other bands that i played with and i wanted and also he was so much on tour and he was so much away from me that i wanted to start a project where we could be together so that he wouldn't be so much away from me <laughs> uh and and so um i just got some money from like a kind of a scholarship funding thing and just took a chance to record an, an album. Uh, wow. That was, Just that, me was, and that was that was in 2012. I know that the um, for that particular album. So as I was preparing, I, I, I listened to all your stuff, Uranium, uh, Silent Treatment. I have everything. I have a big music collection here. So I began oh. I, I listened to every song of every album and and of course in that particular album, right? In, I think Indian Summer uh, was a hit here in the United States as well. And the beat is very good, but I like, right. So that's a hit, that's great, but I'm always looking for the other stuff. And then I like from that particular zone, album, My Soldier, and then Some of a Bitch. They are, they are very, very good song. I mean, even for, for me, for my opinion, even better than Indian Summer. I, I, there. This is a very good album, and you were very young, and the two of you with John, and it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that, you know, out of nowhere, you guys put that album, 
you haven't released any material, you were very young and then boom, you hit success. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, and I know you're very humble too, so. Um, well, it, it was it was a lot of work. We used a lot of time on this album and uh, I feel like we weren't finished musicians and I, and I feel like we've been like growing growing up as we go along. And I, I don't know, I, I've, there's some parts of that album that I feel like Ugh, I know what I tried to do and and I didn't quite get there. And yeah, so, but I'm so glad that you like some of it. Yeah. Oh, I like all of it. <laughs> and, uh, and so that reached number 16 in the Norwegian album chart. At the time, you guys, when you finished that, right, and began playing the radio, so do you uh, feel that you have enough material to, you know, to start performance in live shows in, that was 12, 2012, eight years ago. No, we weren't really ready. Like, so we toured, um, and, and I feel like we're not really, I still don't think that we are quite ready. So for this uh, upcoming album that we're working on now, yeah. we have so much uh, planned for that new show because I I feel like I never had the chance to just dive into that live show and just make a whole world out of that show and like a whole theatric experience. And at that time, I don't think we even had enough songs to fill up in a whole hour. So we, yeah, we stretched out the songs a lot. And, to make uh, it like an hour, yeah. Yeah. And at the time, so when you were released, that you still you were, I think, uh, living at home. So you you finished the school, or, or was a small program where you decided, well, I think I I can make a living and not stay in a school with Tron, and then you know hire people to help us out. How did it How did it happen in 2012? Yeah, I didn't I didn't live at home. <laughs> uh, I no? went to I went to Trondheim and lived there to study, uh, and then right. we went to Oslo, and then. Trun and I broke up and then I went home uh, for about a year and just toured from my home uh, or my parents' house uh, for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then the second album, Silent Treatment, uh, you guys won the, the pop group of the year and, and then the equivalent of the Grammy Awards. And then I think you were nominated for Composer of the Year, Writer of the Year in 2014. That was unbelievable. Two years after that again. Yeah. My God, man. That's unbelievable. That's 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 very, very good. Yes, it, it was very, very good. It was um, it was fun. <laughs> was a lot of pressure to put a new album and tour again and how, how you how you guys came decided to to I don't get think that on the I, road again. Uh, I don't think that I um notice how much pressure that was until later yeah when um when that uh, when camp echo came and and i feel like what when camp camp echo came that's when we really started playing the big venues and and being like a um, household name is that what it's called yeah it's called that's right yeah uh and i didn't really notice that until later that i was kind of affected by the expectations uh, that people had. Um, and I have been working a lot with just that in this new album to just push that away as much as possible and do the opposite. Like not, like I don't wanna, I wanna make what I want without anyone like pushing me In, into one particular direction right so yes uh, so yeah it i i feel like i just like ah no i don't care but at the same time it still bites somewhere so yeah it is possible for you to 
um, close yourself from social media and for interviews and, and do and be by yourself. You as an Ingrid, not you as a musician without social media, and people calling you on interviews and this and that, because now you're very famous. So your band is very famous. Oh, I'm not very famous. The band is famous. So oh, you are. Well, you are. <laughs> I don't, I don't really notice that. Like, um, it's not very, like, there's no paparazzis in Norway. So you don't really notice that you're a famous person that much. Yeah. And uh, so, but um, I, I hate social media. I think it's very boring. Yeah, same here. So, so I don't, I rarely post anything and I, and I try to keep up and just, but I just never take any pictures and I just forget all the time. So it's more, it's more difficult to remember that, oh, this is my job. I need to take pictures. I need to be out there. Mm. And yeah. For that particular album, right? I, I, well, Lover, Where Do You Live? That's a famous dance. I like also things last Wednesday, Hiroshima and uh, God is a Banquet. Uh, as I said before, I'm always listening to the hits, right? But I'm always, for me personally, I'm always looking for new new songs within an album and new artists. I'm always in the look up for new artists, new songs. And the four that I mentioned, are, they're, they're very, very, very good. I, I think a lover, where do you live? Um, you know, that became like a world success, you know, in terms of Spotify and YouTube and all this website that you can listen to media. That's, that, that's became a... Uh, can I, can I, can I ask you where that, how that song came about? In other words, when you, do you leave, do you, like a good writer, right? Could write a book of things that are in his or her head that never happened to you, right? For you, you write, do you, when you, when you write the new melodies in music, you do like an introspection and you see what happened to you or or you can or you have the facility to write the stuff up of things that never happened to you and you you you're very good at, at making a line or a song that comes kind of it's a lot of, it's very it's personal that the stuff you write or not? yes i very rarely write about anyone else <laughs> i write about me and i i feel like part of my job is to like go inside myself and kind of have a rich inner life because it's kind of my currency. Yeah. Like uh, to, I don't know, it's, it's my way of seeing and my way of explaining things and kind of making a, a bit of a scenery or a, an image, a little bubble mm -hmm. where this is how I felt at that time. So I can always go back and visit those memories. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, so it, it kind of, you, you write yourself, you put out there, uh, writing letters, writing songs, and based on your own, your own personal experience, kind of thing. Yes. Looking yeah. inside you and then, <laughs> whether you broke with, I don't need to know if, if that was a song for, I don't know. I think you were with Tron at the time, but I, I don't care. I need. I don't need to know the personal life. But it, it's very powerful song. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's unbelievable. I have, I, as I say, I have listened to all your stuff, every single song that you have done in the last few days as I was preparing for this, and then yeah, like three or four songs really, really triggered something inside myself. It's. Uh, um it, 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 it's 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 beautiful and, and i know that i know that you know as a musician and i think i somebody many people ask the same question and um your your music has 
a big influence in people's life. You 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 touch people in many ways, in not just in your country, but every everybody that listens to your music all over the world. And and I know it makes you feel uncomfortable, but you know, because but it, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I know, you know, people, you don't have to become counseling people or become a psychologist, but um, people with that particular song, right? It, they they think about things that happen to the life, whether, whether a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or I don't have anybody or whatever. And they 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 get very attached to that kind of stuff, to that song, to the, the lyrics. And uh, mm. it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And I know, <laughs> for you, it's uncomfortable for what I heard, but <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing, though. It's a beautiful thing, too. Yes. For, the, for those people, for the audience, for the people that listen. It's, to. it's very nice for for me as well. But uh, I I've had a hard time relating to that. Um, but I'm trying um, I'm trying to understand it more, and I feel like I understand it more and more as time goes by. Like what's and like I can, yeah, like I can feel that perspective of it, that it touches other people and it does something to them. But at the same time, it's, to me, it's written for me. <laughs> it's written for, yeah, for me and for kind of like my my kind of diary through yeah. throughout life and that people listen to it and feel some kind of connection and feel something it's it's great but i i couldn't have used that as my only um inspiration like it's it's that perspective isn't m motivating enough for me you know yeah it is. yeah yeah you, yeah, you, 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 I know you, you did it for yourself, but it so happened that it's so powerful that a lot of people get attached to that kind of stuff. Mm. That's, that's, that's it's very, nice. very nice of you to say. <laughs> oh, I really, I, 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 I mean that, and, and I'm quite sure a lot of people have asked you the same question all over, all over again, and, and you don't know how to react to stuff, but I'm telling you, you know, it's, it's beautiful, it's great, it's, it's great that you have, it's great that things happen to you so you could write about it because that was from your own personal life and you wrote in your diary <laughs> and from there it became a song, right? But if, 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 if that didn't happen, right, to you, you wouldn't have written that song. That's, you know, in a way it's good that <laughs> things happen to people in many ways, you know, that could. Yeah, that, things that, happen that, all the yeah. time. Yeah, we we're, we're, we're your, so most of the inspiration come when you write the new music. It comes from your own, as you mentioned, for personal experiences and that sort of thing. What? I'm sorry. Where, you, where do the where does the, the inspiration come from when you write the new music? Well, it comes uh, from other music, uh, mostly like uh, other like um, movies and series and the music that is set to those movies and series and uh, other artists and pictures and just every everything that you can just put in to this space and then it comes out somehow you, you would always say uh, are when you are doing something else in the kitchen or talking to your son or whatever you know we have like a Pen and pencil when you write in lines or, or no or record no or you when you're driving a car an idea came to you or no it doesn't work that way mm, very very seldom very very rarely uh, that happens I I have a like I have a piano here yeah I when send my kid off to kindergarten and my boyfriend goes to work and then I'm alone and then I work. And when it's over, it's mostly over. I don't I don't go around like having music in, in me all the time. Really? Yeah. I turn it off. 
Oh, gotcha. And then, okay. The, man, the hours, your language is very difficult. <laughs> My language? Yeah. Norwegian? Yeah, it's very yeah. difficult to pronounce, yeah. Um, okay. um, I, I look up, um, I was looking for interviews and videos that they, they did about you, about you and YouTube. And I saw one that uh, Christine Danke. I, yeah. I, I, how you pronounce her last Danke? Danke, okay, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then what, obviously I didn't understand, but there is another guy who ended up translated that in English and, and I understood that. And, uh, if that, uh, I'm, I'm glad that was in English because I, you know, it, uh, um, I could understand that. That was that was a beautiful video. That very very well made. I think it was broadcast on on television as well, right? Yeah, that. Yeah, that um, hike program. Yeah. Yeah. Hike H A I K right. Yeah, hike. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was. Uh, it, um, it it will it will very well put together, and I. I, I listened to this to that particular video like three times or so Be, because oh, it has a concert in the end yeah so what's happened they in YouTube there is there is a whole concert right mm. and then there is another video where what is has only a couple of songs from the concert and is when Christine picked you up and then you know you everything happened and 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 then it is very very well put together. It's um, I, yeah, I, it was great fun like to be it. on that show. Huh? It was a lot of fun to be on that show. Yeah, yeah, it was very 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 good, very good. Uh, then your third album, Camp Echo, was released in two thousand sixteen, mm. and then you know, for that album, someone will get it, and then into sixteen, and then. You know, Spotify, YouTube, and then then you guys became the whole band and yourself, world famous. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, well, I don't know if I would say that we are we became world famous, but we got to tour around the world. Yeah. Um, and we still do tour some, uh, or not now in the Corona. Uh -huh thing but um yeah we any, tour <laughs> any any plan to play in south america at all have you played there i would love to do that but i don't think we've ha had the opportunity yet um i would like to go yeah everywhere anywhere would be fine in yeah. south, south america brazil argentina chile and uh... Yes, people, people especially like the music. Brazil and Mexico would be Mex really Mexico. fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Down there, I like the song that I like it where my name is Liar and somebody, someone who will get it and God don't leave me. And those are, those are very beautiful songs and, and, and a very, they're very personal songs. Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I I always listen to the lyrics and uh, um, it's they're, they're 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 beautiful. They're beautiful. So man, you you guys are a pretty good music. And then what what happened with the, if you don't mind telling me when uh, after Camp Echo where all the other three band members left the band? Mm. Well, Christopher, Marty, and then I don't know how to pronounce Alistain. Alistain. Mm. Right. Yes. So after that album, the three of them left? Yes. Um, after yes. Camp Echo? But if, 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 why? What, what happened? Did, did, did the three um, of them leave for, left for different reasons? or? No, um, it was just that we didn't feel like the, like the musical connection wasn't really there. Uh, okay. So um, on Silent Treatment and Camp Echo, we had a producer that was really great. And, yeah. uh, but when he wasn't present, uh, we didn't really work together that well. Um, like we had two different, um, what do you call it, references and two different 
just musical language. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So, um, so they were like constantly being kind of held out of the process on those two albums, uh, which may, made them mad, but I didn't want them to influence it that much either because we weren't on the same track. And so when we weren't working with that producer for the next album, I felt like we're not gonna be able to make something good, the five of us. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we just had to go our separate ways. Mm. But there was that was kind of the producer wanted to take that particular album into a particular direction and the you tone and yourself felt that the other three members uh, were 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 not contributing that much toward that particular effort that's what that's, that's what you mean or was the, the yeah, well, they were kind of like, I felt like I I like spent years writing those songs so I had like a vision on how it was supposed to sound. And yeah. then the producer worked towards that um, yeah. goal. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And, and the other three members were a bit more like, well, we want to contribute with our vision. And that wasn't really a match. Th that, that was just not what I wanted. I just wanted to work towards um, that goal with the producer and with Trun that also were like kind of with that kind of way of thinking that this was my vision and we would try to figure out what how to make it sound like that. Yeah. Do you do you write most of the song yourself or or Tron also in contribute to the lyrics or Tron only contribute to the the, the, the piano, the keyboard, that kind of thing? Or he help in the in the arrangement? Well, uh, Tron contributes to the uh, producing now uh, on these two last albums. Um, the one that one that we we are working on now, he's a producer with another producer called Christopher Bumstaxen, which is also uh, in the band, like playing live. And, uh, and but before we go into the studio, I sit here on my piano and write the songs finished and then we go into the studio and just start working on getting the right sounds and getting yeah making it sound good because my sketches are very very wrong mm -hmm. the, and then so when you guys did uranium heart they were the two of you with tron and then you hire i think two or three people right to contribute to the album right and then uh, it it was easy for you guys for you, for yourself and Tron find new musician that will follow the idea where you running hard need to go and that kind of stuff or no I I just wrote the music and then we went into the studio together and just. It was kind of like a bedroom record. We didn't have a studio right then. Um, at that time, we we like um, rented a studio a few times, but uh, a lot of times uh, we just sat on Trun's in Trun's bedroom and made that record. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Really, I did it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It. Uh, I like Mexico and then Hail of Bullets. Egomaniac and stick with you. So that's beautiful, beautiful song there. And uh, and uh, and then you you have again many many hits in in Europe and and then uh, in the UK too and in in United States and uh, and then again in in February this year you guys were nominated, you know, pop group of the year, mm. which is equivalent of the Grammy Award here in the United States and. Uh, I think you need to wait for the ceremony to to accept that award, that kind of stuff. Uh, mm. Yeah. So if you looking back in your life, 
what what kind of music do you like? What kind of what what stuff do you like to listen to? I listen to Bon Iver. Uh, yeah. That's kind of like a like a really big inspiration for us, and we use that as a reference uh, all the time when we're working together. Like it needs to be more like Bon Iver. And uh, how do you spell? You don't mind putting that into the chat so I can look it up. Bon Iver. Yeah. You? you know, I think you know that. Uh, uh, you know where the chat is at the bottom? On yes, the middle? No, I don't. Oh, well, he's an American. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, got you. Got Am you. I pronouncing it wrong? Yeah, see, you're right. You can, you put the two words together. Yeah, bon Iver, right, yeah. Uh, I got you. But do you know bands like um, Cigarettes After Sex? London Grammar. London Grammar, I know. Not cigarettes after sex. <laughs> very, very good. Okay. I, I, will, I, I will, I will, I will put the name here. Uh, you need to listen. Yeah, to do it. that. Huh? Yes, do that. I would like to listen to some new, mu new music. I need some new inspiration. They are, they are, they are very, very good, and you can find them in, in, in YouTube, of course. Uh, they are, they are, they are very good. Um, we, we also, I'm, we are going, I'm going to be interviewed with them and there is a couple of band in Australia Yeah, that are very good, similar, you need to listen to, you know, number one dot or no more, N -O -M -O? no, no, no more. Yeah. Oh man, if, if I get, you will, you, you will go crazy with the music. Let me find it, um, uh, somewhere. Uh, I think I say this stuff. Uh, they're 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 different than you, but they're uh, it can give you inspiration into. I need to find where I say this stuff, but um, uh, yeah, I will I will find it later on and send it to. Uh, to the person who put us in contact, um, it's, it's 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 very good music. Um, as I say, on purpose. For me, I like certain music, but I'm always looking for new band. And in 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 Norway and Finland, uh, there's a lot of very good musicians that I'm glad that they sing in English. Otherwise, I wouldn't understand it. But mm. but uh, but there's a lot of very good music. So I'm always looking for um for new groups so if you have looking back in your life if you have the the opportunity to play do a, like a solo album right no yeah. as a hike, as a guy, but so with any musician in the world who who the person would be if you can pick any person in the world that hey you want to do an album together i think that would be bonnie bear really yes I think I think so. I think it would be good too. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever thought about doing a a cover album? With... A cover album? Yeah. No, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. Right. Because the whole, the, like, the most fun about being a musician is the process of writing it. I, I don't like. That's my favorite uh, part of it. Right. Just sitting alone and drinking coffee and just yeah, like, I'm, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> yes, and uh, and I I wouldn't have the I don't I don't want to sing oh, other people's yeah. songs. Yeah. Do <laughs> you? And, and the other question now they were do you do you like to listen to covers made by other people about your music or, or your no, I, I think it's all right, but I um, I think it's fine. Like, <laughs> but no. Make, make you feel uncomfortable or no? Listen to your own stuff? No, I, it makes me happy that someone uh, wants to do it, uh, but, uh, but I, don't, I don't like just sitting down and listening to it. That's like sitting down and listening to my own songs. I don't do that. Yeah, I think uh, in, in that particular video that I mentioned, I think uh, Honey Huckleberg 
did a song, I think it was Egomaniac. Yes. You know, for me, it's very good. But maybe it's from your good. point of view, listen to somebody, maybe it's, it's a weird, strange, right? Yeah, um, but that was different because that was such an honor because it's Hanna Hückelberg and I've looked up to her my whole life. And really? Yeah. Yes. And so so when she did a cover, it's it's it, it was more emotional than if it's someone I don't know or um, yeah. but I appreciate people doing covers of the song. I do. Do you get do you get nervous every time that you go on stage and you a new a new sh new show or um no not really sometimes i get really nervous um, uh, when it's been a long time and uh, but when i did a show like just a couple of days ago i did like an event type of show and i wasn't nervous at all it was really weird like when is when am i gonna get nervous but i just didn't yeah. i feel like it's not that big of a deal that if, if something goes wrong, I don't feel like it's it's not a crisis. I can just start over and... Have you ever forgotten the lyrics of a song? Yes, I, all the time. How you manage? <laughs> I, just, uh, I just sing something else and uh, Tron gives me an evil eye and then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just, that happens. It's a lot of lyrics. Oh yeah, so tell me, tell me, well, I hope you never, you know, I hope you never fight with Tron because the two of you are so good together, Ingrid, there's, it's so, it's so beautiful. I, I, and plus, I never met Tron, of course, right? I never been in your country, but he's for the picture, right? For the picture that I have seen of the two of you and some from the video, he's, Tony is like, he's a very, very good person. Very good person for mm. the picture, right? Of course, maybe in real life, he's a different guy, but he, he's, he's a very good, very good guy. I, I would like to meet, I would like to invite him to dinner one day or, or beer or oh, whatever. You should. Because <laughs> he, he, he's, he's, a very, he's a very nice person, listen to me. Yes. It's easy for me to read people, right? Read people's face, like an image. And he, he's, uh, he's a very good person. He's a very good person. Yes, he is. I He's hope, very I hope you never. I, I hope you never, guys, broke out because I will be very mad at you, Ingrid, if if the two of you split. Up. <laughs> we fight all the time, but it doesn't tear us apart anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. All fighting is okay as long as yeah. you know there there reason what people do kind of stuff. I don't think that will ever happen that we will want to like break up. You know, mu musically, that will be. Tell me about the, the new album that you, you're working on. Um, uh, the new album is, um, I don't know, it's a bit more electronic. It's uh, very, it's, it's a bit dark, I think. Um, and it's very different from Uranium Heart. I, I like just doing something else than what I recently did. And so it's very different from Uranium Heart. And it's kind of, I feel like it's a, it's a fresh new start. And then it's, a, it, how many how many songs are you going to have? And they're all written now? They're kind of well they're put together? Written. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we have recorded them and uh, I've done the vocal uh, vocals for it. And so now we're just gonna tweak and just do all kinds of things that you do on a record and then release it someday when the corona is over. When, when that's going to be released? Toward the end of the year or early next year? Is it? I, I don't know. We're just going to have it ready and then release it when the corona is ready or, or finished and so that we can play big shows again. Yeah. I don't want to waste an album and not be able to tour with him. I got you. Uh, and you, you mentioned that um, you guys did a couple of show, one show a couple of days ago. Um, it that doesn't doesn't have the new stuff right now, the new material. What? 
the, the album that the show that you did two two days ago no it doesn't have the new stuff the new stuff is uh, secret until it's released okay wow quite sure it's very good is it is it the show that you did a couple of days ago is is somewhere do you know if it's in youtube or any of the, somebody can record it or or not no um I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh, the, the 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 show that you guys did two days ago. Yeah. That... No, it's not anywhere. It's, it's not. not anywhere. Anywhere. It was just the like a, a, a for a bank, like a bank hired us in for their dinner party. Oh man, man! I wish I was in the bank. Like, I would love. I never seen you. I never seen you live. Of course, I've never seen you live. But it would be uh, it would be an honor for me to to. Yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, when we do these things, it's very like stripped down and uh, just uh, kind of like an acoustic acoustic version. Of version. Uh, and then you know, if since you are a very prolific, hopefully the the virus Corona will be over next year. I don't know, and then you will be able to uh, you know release that particular album and and then go on the road again uh yeah. again when uh when you're not composing composing music nothing related to this what you what you do for fun fun stuff fun i don't do anything for fun uh, except uh, uh, drink and uh, eat and uh, hang out with friends and just uh, yeah are you are you are you uh are your friend mostly music musician or or different no uh I used to only have musician friends, but I, I feel like uh, it, my world was got so small. And yeah. uh, so now I just, um, uh, yeah, I have a lot of other friends that do completely different things. And different jobs. my uh, boyfriend is in, I don't know, I don't know the English word for it. He sells some kind of technology. Salesman in technology, right. Yes. Yeah, he has, he has a, like a company for uh, something with technology. <laughs> I, I can't say it in English. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, and that, uh, that's been important to me to be not ugh, in, in just with musicians. It's so much alcohol with musicians. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is just meeting at bars and drinking all the time and it's, yeah. it's not healthy. You you like beer? You like wine? What do you like? What do you like? Red wine. Red wine. Have you ever red tried wine. red wine from Chile? What? Have you ever tried red wine from Chile? Yes, I've had that. Good, good. It's very good wine very in Chile. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I like beer. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm when I finished high school, I came here to the United States and I began hanging out with all the American kids, so I began drinking beer. So I don't I don't do wine or nothing like that or whiskey or none of stuff no yes no uh, it's weird when you come to the u.s and you're gonna order a glass of wine then they said like red or white and that's the only opportunity and like the only thing you can choose about because uh, there are many very, types right there are many many yeah types, yeah, yeah i i also listened to the, the extended version of acoustic version and then the very romantic part one and part two, those are very, very good too. Yes, thank you. I feel like uh, like the bear romantic was kind of like, it was just like a rehearsal, kind of like in, in working together with the new people that uh, are working in high as a kite now and just, just not just, it was kind of like a, a trial to to just make something and not have any like um, expectations to it because everyone had so much everyone was waiting for uranium heart and it was really hard to make that album because of the the press and um and the the um the three people leaving and it was just a lot of it was a mess around us so it was nice to just make something in calm circumstances well right yeah gotcha. 
uh, but the the yeah, you're you're in. I mean, they're all all the albums to me are very very different, right? So obviously, and uh, I like all of them. And for the, the and the, the 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 song that I told you from a particular for different reason, but you know you you guys are doing very well, and you are. And you are very well known in here in the United States, uh, um, and, and in Latin America too. I mean, if you ever have the opportunity to um, to go there, as a matter of fact, I I'm going to London to um, in May or June, and I want to take a couple of weeks off for my job, and then go to listen to music, and hopefully, I can I can see the the group live one day, you know. Uh, I would yeah. love to listen to your music live. It's not the same as listening to the record and then listening to YouTube. I want, I want to, for me, listen a band live is very, very important to me. It's not well, the same we, as... Uh, we will probably come to the United States when we release the new album. Uh, um, and do, I, I don't think we're going to tour like the way that we used to do, like, uh, like from city to city to city and just three weeks on the road. Just uh, just in the U.S., I think we're, we're we will probably play a few shows on the east side and then a few shows on the west side, and that's that's it. Yeah, well, go to come to the east. You need to you need to play in Washington D.C. There are so many good venues here. In DC. Yeah. Oh, that's the best one. So what's happening is, since I live in the border of Virginia with Maryland and Washington D.C., every band, every the best. The, every band comes to this area. So that's why I'm, I'm able to see close to 40 shows a year here. Mm. Uh, because all, all of them come here from Coldplay, Pat Benadar, Blondie, Depeche Mode, member of Genesis, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, um, Cigarettes After Sex, blah, blah. There are so many in this area, there are so many, many, many good venues. So if you, if you do one day, you will have to do three because it will sell out like that. And if you do another one, we'll be sell out like that. So uh, we have to wait and see how it goes with the album. <laughs> oh, I'm quite sure it's very good. Yeah, you say more electronic, uh, but uh, but I'm quite sure I'm quite sure um, it's going to be very very good. And uh, how's how is the weather? Is rainy outside or sunny? Uh, it's uh, clouded, but uh, but no no rain. Uh, no. Do you see anything? Yeah, no, you just see. Yeah, it. no, I, I saw the window. I saw the window. Yeah, okay. here here is it's raining a little bit. Um, oh. We are you know going like you to toward the winter, right? And, and we'll have election in you in United States next Tuesday, so a lot of things are going to happen here. Are you gonna dress up for Halloween? Uh with my well my, my son is six well he turns seventeen. I don't know. He's, he's we're too old for that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. You what about your what about your your, your boy? You wanna dress up for Halloween? Um well we're just gonna uh, everything is cancelled uh, because of uh, the corona. So I think we're just gonna put him in a like costume. a lion costume and then let oh, him sorry. play with the tent. Yeah. yeah, and play with play with the snow. Is it snowing there? No, no. No, it's not snowing yet. Uh, it usually starts snowing in December, maybe November sometimes. Yeah, where do you? Are you curious? Where, where you learn how to speak English, as in school? Yes, everyone knows how to speak English. Yeah, so if I go to your country, I won't get lost. No, no, everyone can speak English, but sometimes people are a bit shy to speak English, but they, they really? don't understand. Yeah, because uh, I, I don't know, not everyone has uh, the training, so it's it's a bit awkward, but they, they yeah. everyone knows how to do it. But it's mandatory in school? You need to yeah. pick a, when you're, you, when you, you need to pick a language like, like we do? Yes, and also we l watch a lot of uh, American movies. Movies? Uh. Yeah, so we're just, we grow up with it. And I think you start with English uh, um, in second grade. So ah, you learn grade, that yeah. until... Yeah, I, I learned, obviously I, I speak Spanish and then I began, 
yeah, in high school, I, I, we took several courses in English, but I learned how to speak the language when, when I came here to study. So I learned the language here. Mm. And, and I know only a little thing of, uh, let, let, me let me pronounce something to say, don't, don't laugh at me, but if you want to laugh in your country, okay. it, it, hi, uh, boran, boran hard to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbara, tak. Uh, that's the that's the only thing I know. Um, oh, do you good. have? Do you? Um, you know how much do I have? What, what's are you busy or I mean? Do you have a couple? Mm -hmm. Feel how much do I have? I I have taken an hour of your time, so I don't know. Yeah. Um. No. Um. Um. I think it's good, but uh, I need to go and pick up uh, my son very soon. Yeah, I got you. All right, so uh, so thank you very much for uh, you know spending a, a, an hour with me here. And uh, as I say, we will do we we do in the radio. We will present your music, then we'll show the audio with some question and so on and stuff like that. And and then later on we'll show um, the, the 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 whole video. And uh, people are going to like it. You, you, you. Um, I'm very happy that I talked to you, Ingrid. And you, you, you know, you are you are a very good person, and uh, you are very humble, and you are the heart and the mind of Kaisa Hai. If it wasn't for you and 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 and, John and you know, I don't know, the world would be different. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's very kind. Uh, no, I re I really mean this stuff, and I know when people tell you stuff. Uh, about your son, and maybe you feel uncomfortable, but it, it's beautiful. It's, it's, what you're doing is is, is beautiful. It's, you know, it's. it's I, I don't. I don't. I, I know you don't like to listen to it, <laughs> and you don't know how to react. It's just. Uh, I, I, it's awkward. It's, it's awkward, awkward. But it's very nice. Thank you. But 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 it's beautiful. And uh, well, I hope I can meet you one day and. Um, and then see the band, you know, either either in Europe and if if we, we are alive, we are able to travel, and then in in United States. And um, and as a matter of fact, I do plan to, uh, yeah. So I have an interview with Sip Jacobson on on Sunday, and and Hane Hugelberg. I need to email her to see if you know she could she want to do an interview. Is any other musician from your country that you think they're very good, similar to that style, like? Your your kind of music, like Steve Jacobson kind of music, like Hanny Hockelberg kind of music. What other other people yes. you recommend? If Let you me write it. Uh, it. Uh, this uh, Emilia Nicola. Yeah. Uh, she's uh, great. I think you would like her, and she is very popular here. Uh, uh, yeah. I got you. Uh, Perfect. And I will, Emil Nicola. Okay, I will. And I will, I will send the, the video to um, Glenn, who put us in touch. And then I will send Glenn the list of all the other songs that I mentioned before. Um, perhaps there they can give an expression. Yeah, especially the guy, the guys in Australia. Uh, he has a very, very good voice. You, I, I know, I, I'm 100% sure you would like it. And I'm a hundred percent sure that you like it. And the guy from Australia, they have he worked with different people, right? They have a band called Nomo, and then he worked with another lady. So I will send the link with the YouTube law son. And you know, you tell me what do you what do you what do you think about that? Because they're, they're very good. And cigarettes that's just like you're going to love. Um, yeah. Well, thank you. Very much. That was uh, our uh interview with uh, Ingrid Helene Havik and thank you very much again for for your time and good luck with the new album good luck with your with your baby and don't ever fight with Tron you know make peace with him <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and then I hope to meet you one day you know after the show or I meet Trump too he's a nice guy so yeah. thank you thank you very much again thank you bye 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 bye, Ingrid. bye, bye.